Hey folks, Nicholas Field here, and today I'm going to show you how to sync your tentacle timecode boxes to the ultra-precise US Navy NTP server time. But before we get into that, first I want to discuss why time of day is a useful way of jamming your devices. I'm also going to touch on some important things to keep in mind when managing sync on projects. So please like and subscribe, and let's go! First things first, I want to do a little bit of explaining about NTP UTC. So this sounds a lot more complicated than it really is, because NTP is really just the time we all see displayed on our smartphones. NTP stands for Network Time Protocol. The time you see on your phone has been pushed from the US Navy Stratum 1 NTP servers to Apple Stratum 2 server or Google Stratum 2 server, and from there on to your smartphone which has a MEMS oscillator built in to keep time between updates from the server. Now, depending on how often your device syncs to the NTP server and the level of network congestion and latency, each device will be asynchronous to the next to some degree. However, what is known is that iPhones and Android OS must connect to their NTP server approximately once in each 24-hour cycle to refresh the time. So, given this, I think we can all agree that the time displayed on our smartphones is the most accurate time of day readily available to us on a modern film set across devices. I mean, most of us aren't synchronizing our watches to NTP time every night before bed, right? So what does this information have to do with timecode? A lot, actually. When I'm setting up timecode on a small shoot or discussing timecode workflow in pre-production, I always advocate for time of day timecode versus a generic free run approach. Using time of day has several advantages, but the most important one for crew is in the form of protecting our labor. If we're still rolling into overtime and the timecode slate displays accurate time of day alongside the camera's internal timecode, that is pretty irrefutable when cross-referenced with the call sheet. Now, labor disputes may not happen often, but using time of day does offer quite a bit of leverage in this context for everybody on set, so it adds some peace of mind. Time of day timecode can also be useful for editors. I work on a lot of documentaries, and when I do, we film a lot of footage. Oftentimes, interviews will be transcribed for editing, but sometimes we capture gold during running gun filming. When this happens, the director can just use their phone to note the time when useful footage is being filmed, and this can quickly and easily be matched to the footage when reviewing in post. Similarly, the editor can cross-reference the call sheet or shot list if needed to find specific coverage. Not everyone I encounter in this industry has the same level of technical ability, so I like that this is a straightforward and simplistic way of helping speed up the editing process on under-resourced projects. Now, depending on the frame rate you're shooting in, time of day is not a perfect solution. Here in North America, we're often shooting content in 23.976, and I've worked for UK production companies using 29.97 ND. In both of these cases, we have a speed difference of 0.1%, meaning we drop 3.6 seconds per hour. Basically, if you rejam your timecode at lunch like you should, you should stay within 25 seconds of NTP time. When shooting in 24, 25, 30, 50, 60, and 120, as well as any drop frame rates, there will be no noticeable difference. So without further ado, let's dive into this tutorial. The Technical Sync app makes setting this up really easy. Here are the steps. Step one, start your tentacle in red mode. Step two, open the setup app on your mobile device. Step three, connect your tentacle to your mobile device via cable or Bluetooth. I'm already set up with Bluetooth. Step four, tap on the orange running time code and a window will pop up. Step five, select a value for custom time code i.e. set custom timecode or set to phone time. Step six, the running timecode will switch to that time and change to green. Now, it's important to only set a custom timecode to one of your tentacle devices. This will act as your master timecode, which you then use to sync the rest of your boxes and devices. If you set all tentacle devices with a phone, you will have an offset in between the tentacle devices timecode due to the inaccuracy of the phone time. So that's it. I like to keep a tentacle plugged in my bag at all times to jam my recorder with accurate time of day and wirelessly sync the remaining boxes using the app. I also like to keep one with my slate to quickly rejam at lunch without touching the cameras. Thanks so much for watching, and if this video was useful, please do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. It goes a long way in supporting what I do. If you'd like to support my channel directly, you can donate via the PayPal link below, or you can shop for useful gear via my affiliate links. 
where I receive a small referral fee at no additional expense to you. Finally, if you have any topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, feel free to drop me a line via the Google Forms link in the description below. Peace.